Hi fellow traders. I can say today, I hope your day was a heck of a lot better than mine. Um, and obviously judging by the picture that I have here, you can imagine uh, what my day was like. So without further delay, let's uh, take a look at it. Um, <clears throat> you know, I, I said earlier this morning that, you know, this is just not feeling right. Um, you know, I, I, the market felt today just like it felt yesterday. And I stayed out of the market yesterday. I didn't trade. So, you know, I traded the pre-market, got a feel, and I knew, okay, I, I don't need to trade. And got the same feeling today. But this trade really triggered some anger in me. And I think that's what really caused me to lose my cool and get in the market. And the rest from there is, is history. Um, so, but this trade here was, I got in a little bit too early because I was waiting for this to bounce and retest for me to get in. And I was building the montage and I accidentally entered the trade here. So I was in. You know, I had no, I, I, I could have just taken it off and then got back in here, which is where I would have entered, you know, right here. But, or I might have waited till we got under the, the 200 here, more than likely. So I'm thinking I never would have entered this trade. But I was in and kind of couldn't make up my mind what to do. So I ended up just holding and as long as this stayed, you know, it rejected, I felt pretty good about the trade, you know, staying on. So this, um, you know, rejected, we pulled back to the 200 and then we bounced back and we kind of stayed below the nine. And then we had this quick pop up and then pull back and I was thinking okay we're good now you know this probably took out stops that it wanted to or whatever it did you know now we're gonna get to the sell-off that I was looking for and we did not we started to recover here and then this thing popped took me out on the way up and then it immediately sold back off below the VWAP and then we got this wash at the open. You talking about somebody who was extremely angry. <laughs> I was hot. Because I knew this is what I was looking for. I was in the trade. I held through all of this. And then, you know, this makes the move. After it pops all the way up and stops me out. So that kind of set the tone so I, I I ended up taking a trade here and you know I got in not waiting for the signal I got in um, thinking we were going long here so I got in and ended up getting stopped right back out you know got in 500 shares and I'm like look this this is crazy I took I took it because I was upset. And then on top of that, I go ahead and I short this. Thinking now, okay, we're under this. We're going to go short now. You know, on the opening range breakdown. So I get short. We started to work. We never got to where I could cover my first piece. Then we bounced back. We kind of stayed under VWAP. And eventually I got stopped out. I don't have the rest of the chart here, but eventually I got stopped out. And I was like, well, you know, damn, okay. You know, that's it. So, but in the meantime, while I was waiting on this, I decided to give EFX a shot because we had this big wash. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to wait for the bounce. And then I'm gonna get in. Well, it did. It 
put in this candle, but then it looked weak again. So I went ahead and got in. And of course, we went back and I'm like, okay, I'm going to hold this because if we could get in, I can go ahead and, you know, get in the trade here. And I can add. You know, I get in 50 shares. If it doesn't work, it pulls back and test this. I can add. So it tested this. I was waiting on it to fail to add. It pushed through it, pushed over the, the um, 20. And I'm still thinking, okay, this has to come back. You know, this stock has to come back at some point. And that's the wrong thought process. That's not what you should think. And I know better than that. But this is what happens when one loss that really agitates you because, you know, you had to stick to your stop, but the stop just threw you out before it made the move. And you thought you gave it, well, you know, more than enough room and it still took you out before it worked. And, it, and it's, you get frustrated and you know something takes over and it took me a while to really gather myself in and just quit it's like you know sometimes if you don't stop you just can't stop you just keep going and you just keep digging the hole digging a hole digging a hole for yourself and that's kind of what happened here so I had to stop digging and just let it go you know, so today, I, you know, I took a big hit today. It's not so big that it puts me out. Now, had I just took taken a hit on THC and then Halo and just left it alone, I would have been fine. But I get in EFX and I essentially double my loss. You know, I lost $350 on this one trade. You know... So I effectively doubled my losses just by doing this. And, you know, so that's why I feel like a jackass today because that's the way I traded. After that first trade, I just kind of lost control. And, you know, that was it. So just wanted to share this with you because this is a, a good lesson. Um, it's one that you're going to continue to have issues with going forward. Uh, I've been trading for years and for several years now. And I've, you know, this creeps up every now and then. You know, it could be revenge trading. You could call it revenge trading. You know, whatever. You just get upset because the market played with you. It played with your emotions and you want to get it back. You know, you want to flex your muscle and you end up, you know, it beats you down. So, you know, it's embarrassing, but it's it's life. It's real life. And if you were in the chat room, you saw it happen real time. You know, that's real trading. This is what happens. You know, there were a lot of people who lost a lot of money on this EFX. You know, at least I did have a line in the sand and I stuck to it. So, you know, but still, I should have never taken the trade that the way I took it. Never should have. But that was my day today. I'm looking forward to starting a new day tomorrow. You know, I know it's Friday, um, but, you know, hopefully the market is inviting and conducive to my strategies so I can end my week with a good trade. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be red this week for the first time. I know for the first time this year, but maybe for the first time in two years, I'm going to have a red week. Um, so I'm getting my mind prepared and set for that, you know, for that to happen. So uh, but we'll see how tomorrow is, and, you know, I'll look forward to it. So you guys take care. Have a great night, a great evening, and we'll see you guys in the morning.